Good morning, Michelle here. New workout for you. Uh, strong and sexy curves today workout. So I have some equipment. You don't need any, equip any equipment for the workout. The only one might be the box step ups, um, but you can do them to the floor. You would just step out with the knee lift. So I'll cue you on that when we get to that. But I have um, different things because some people don't have kettlebells, some people don't have dumbbells. And I wanna be able to show you in each round that you can use different things. You don't have to always use the same thing or you can use nothing at all. You don't need any weight and you'll still get a workout. So uh, there are, it's over here. <laughs> Four circuits three working ones and then a bonus abs one. The first one is going to only have four exercises in it because it is uh, more of a warm up to get everything going, but we are gonna do it four times. I um, only set the timer for four rounds, that way you get a break in between each round. When I did it the other day at the gym last week, I didn't um, take any breaks, uh, only the 10 second break. It also gives you time to get a drink and towel off if you need one and uh, before you jump back into the next round, okay? But if you really want to go hard at it, set your timer for 16 rounds, which is what I did, and um, crush it, go right through it, you know, with just the 10 second break. So, uh, the first one, really all you need is uh, a ball or a kettlebell. Um, you don't need, or a dumbbell, and even at that, you don't need any weights. Uh, we are gonna do a warm up first. Let me get my gloves on here. It's nice out today, but it's gonna get cold again. So uh, it is what it is. I'm making the best of it and doing it today. We are gonna march it out and get warmed up. You can do anything for your warm up. You can jump rope, you can do jumping jacks, you can do jogging in place, you can take a walk around the block if you want to. Uh, a lot of places are cold, so it's easier to do something inside. If you've already warmed up, you fast forward through this section, there's an orange border that will start you on the first circuit. There, I have labels and you can just move right into it. March it wide. Deep breath, inhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Hold it here, toe taps, tap it. Shrug that right shoulder up, then left. Tap, right, left, right, left. Four, three, we're gonna roll it back. Two, and one, roll that shoulder back. Let's warm everything up. From the toes to the head, all the way up. Four, three, two, one. Arms overhead, reach it up. Obliques, shoulders. Four, three, two, Hold the arms in, step together, in. Four more, four, three, two, one. Heels up right here, press them down, heels up. Just a little warm up, get the blood going through the muscles, four more. Four, three, two, gonna pull the knees up and the arms to the side. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Plant the feet, hold it here, deep breath, inhale and exhale take it over to the right side stretch out that inner thigh turn you're going to go up on the toe and down lift up on the toe let's warm up those shins and calves we're going to do some plie pulse squats we're going to do some side lunges 
You're gonna hold it up here after this one, bend that knee, drop it down, down. Don't forget your pelvic tilt. Push that left hip forward, hold it, push forward, squeeze that left glute, slide that left foot in, kick that right foot up, engage the core, hold the stomach in, back is straight, pull up on that toe, stretch out that calf, drop that foot down, drop that head, roll it up one vertebrae at a time, take it over to the left side, inner thigh lunge, you're gonna turn, right leg is gonna go back, raise up and down, lift. Shins and calves, we'll get to those hip flexors. Four, three. Hold it here, drop down. Two, three, four. We've got that pelvic tilt. Pressing that right hip forward, hold it here, press it forward, tuck it under, squeeze that butt. Roll the right leg in, kick the left leg up. Calf stretch, quad stretch. Drop the foot, tuck the head, roll the back up one vertebrae at a time. Come to the front, deep breath, inhale. And exhale, again, inhale. And exhale. We're going to get started on this workout. When I hit this timer, we're going to begin. You can use a kettlebell, you can use a ball, you can use weights. I brought out all of them so I can show you in each round what to do. I will cue you through the workout. So, I'm the people who don't uh, have any equipment show you that you can do this without weights, just your body. If you have no weights, go into a plank, mountain climbers, five, six, seven, eight. The hop right, the hop left, hop in, right here, squeeze up, lower down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The hop right, Knee hop left. Squeeze the glutes when you come up. Hop back. Five, six, seven, eight. Knee hop. Squeeze up. Seven, eight. Knee hop right. Go up and squeeze. Back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. B hop right. All right. Okay. So hold your arms over to the right side. Lunge right. Lunge left. Kneel down. One. Two, three. Think about squeezing those shoulders. Left lunge, right lunge. One, two, three. Kneel down, back up. Right lunge, right. One, two, three. Kneel down. Left lunge. One, two, three, kneel down. Right lunge. One, two, three, kneel down. Left lunge. Lunge it, stay upright. Reverse lunge. Woo! Okay. If you're doing reverse lunges and you're not holding a weight, if you're advanced and you want to grab a weight, grab a weight. I'm showing this for big beginners. You twist out to the outside of the front knee. Keep the body upright. Step back and lunge. Hit 
can stay like you're holding a sandbag, a weight, a ball. Swing it outside of that front knee. Nine more seconds. Whew. Plie pulses and we move on. Are you warmed up? That was your warm up circuit. That was to get your mind and your body into that challenge mode. Squeeze and lift. Two pulses. Down, squeeze and lift. Two pulses. Down, squeeze and lift. Two, down, squeeze. Two pulses. One, two, down, squeeze and lift. One, two, squeeze. One, two. Thighs on fire, just like last video. Whew. I can feel them. V hop right and left. Engage that core. Seven, eight, V hop right, V hop left, hop in, squat and clean. Back down, hop back. One, five, six, seven, eight, V hop, V hop, squat, clean and up. Back down, engage the glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, V hop right, V hop left, that was a bad one. Squat, clean up, back down. If you don't want to put your weight on the, or your hands on the kettlebell, right here, V hop, right, left. Now you can grab it and up. One, five, six, seven, eight. V hop right. Woo! Okay. Reverse lunge right. Weight on the right shoulder. Reverse lunge left, right. 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 Kneel down. One, two, three. Kneel down, down, up, up. Go left. Left. Kneel down. One, two, and three. Kneel down. Go right. One, two, and three. Kneel down. Go left. One, two, and three. Kneel down. Go right. One. Woo. Keep a hold of your weight. We're going to do a reverse lunge. You're going to swing that weight to the outside of the front knee.
Take breaks when you need to. Woo! Okay. Two plie pulses. Turn toes in. Squat, knee lift, right, left. Two pulses down. Two. Squat, knee up. Pull your knee up to the elbow. Don't pull your back down. Up and lift. One, two. Toes in, squat, lift. One, two. Squat, lift. It's coming down off of me. I'm sweating. Warm weather plus a workout equals sweaty workout. One, two. I'll take it though. I don't like the cold weather. Whew. Okay, one round. We have three more of them. Towel off, grab a drink. And we're gonna get started. I should leave that off. See if I can keep from spilling it. Okay, first one we did with the kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, I'll show you how to do it with the ball. If you have a ball. If you don't have a ball and you have dumbbells, it would be similar to the kettlebell, okay? Timer, 10 seconds, and we're gonna hop back into that plank. Mountain climbers are first. Squeeze that stomach, squeeze that butt. Five, six, seven, eight. Knee hop right, knee hop left. Hop in, squat, and clean up. One, five, six, seven, eight. V hop, V hop, hop in. One, five, six, seven, eight. One, five, six, seven, eight. V hop, V hop. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, grab your ball. Weight is on the right shoulder. Front lunge right, reverse lunge right. Right, kneel down, three presses. Two, three, down, down. Up, go left. Left lunge, reverse lunge, kneel. One, two, three. Go right, right. Kneel down, one, two, three. Down, down, come up left. Left lunge, one, Two, three, kneel down, come up right, right, one, two, three, down, down, come up left, left, left reverse lunge, kneel, Woo. okay, we're going to take the weight to the outside of the front knee as we reverse lunge back to the outside of the knee that's in the front. Twist over, obliques. Oh, 
sweat's rolling into my eyes. Don't want to lose my contact. We have those plie, plie pulses next. Toes are out. Two pulses down. One, two, come in. Back out. One, two, come in. Engage the core as you lift the knee up. One, two. One, two. Twist and reach that knee up. One. One, two. We have two more rounds. If you're not, if you're a beginner and you're not doing the other two rounds, fast forward to the next section or stay on this section, do your workout and fast forward to the bonus abs. You don't have to do the entire workout. It's broken up into sections. But if you're doing it with me, we're gonna go. I'm gonna show you dumbbells. I should have showed you no weights first. Five, six, seven, eight. One, five, six, seven, eight. B hop right, B hop left. Squeeze and lift. Back down. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Engage the core. Six, seven, eight. Woo. Okay. It's pretty hard to do two dumbbells, so you're gonna have to hold one. Whoopsie. Front lunge, reverse lunge. One, two, three. Kneel down, left leg lunge. Front lunge, reverse lunge. One, two, three. Kneel down, right leg. Lunge, one, two, three. Down, down, up, left. Left lunge, reverse lunge. Three, two, one. Kneel down, right, right back. One, two, Three, kneel down, left leg, lunge. Woo! Okay. Now, if you're doing the dumbbell, hold it on the ends. We're gonna step back with the left, twist over the right. So whatever leg you're twisting or you're stepping back with, you're twisting over the opposite leg. Now, you're not doing this. We're not leaning into it, right? Stay up, back is straight. Like you have a rod running up and down your spine that won't let you bend over. Squeeze those glutes 
as you step back. Twist, hit the obliques. Pulses. Turn the toes in. Squat, knee lift. One, two. Knee up. Squat down as low as you can. And then turn out. One, two. One, two. Out, squat, and a lift. Out. One, two. Woo! Okay, I can feel them. See, good morning. Okay, circuit two. First round is gonna be no weights, no nothing. If you're advanced, you know what to do, okay? So I'm gonna cue you on it. Jump jack squat with a ball if you have a ball. If you don't, that's okay. Ball's gonna touch the ground. You're gonna come into a jump jack and arms are gonna come up. If you don't have the weight or a ball, this is what you do. If the jumping is too much, side squat out. band or a tube or dumbbells. Palms. Up, front raise, palms face out, open, back down, and down. Up, turn, open, and back down. My range of motion is getting better in my shoulders. I will do this with the tube on the second round. Okay, four times, plank jack. Hop the feet in, grab a weight, and you're going to do a low squat. So, we're not doing weights. Two, three, four, hop the feet in. Now, if you have boxes, that's where they come into play. You would, Hands on the boxes, hop the feet to the boxes, grab your weight, and squat and lift. Four, hop the feet in. I'll show you on the second round.
Woo. Band bicep curls. Now, you may not have a band, you may not have kettlebells, but you probably have soup cans or something, uh, baked bean cans, something, anything in your cupboards. But bicep curl. And you can do a bicep curl without any weight, just thinking about contracting the bicep. Weights do help, a little bit of resistance helps. I like the bands, I'll show you in the second round. With the bands, I'll show you in the third round with the dumbbells. You squeeze, and you wanna keep those elbows at the side. It's not this. If you're pulling those arms up, you have too much weight, you're using momentum. You need to make sure that you're not gripping tight with the palms, because then that's forearm, and you're gonna end up using cheating, and you want to squeeze and tighten those biceps as you curl them up. So think of an imaginary bar there. Um, buzzsaw plank, five times, knee drop plank. In a plank position. One, two, three, four, five. Drop the knees. One, two, three, four, five. Buzzsaw plank. One, two, three, four, five. Not looking under the body. Hold one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Drop the knees. One, two, three, four. Whoo! All right. Come on up. Arms overhead. You're gonna pull down. So you're gonna raise the arms up, pull, and pulse. Down. Arms up and pulse down. Back down. Pull up, pulse down. Pull up. I am sweating. You should be too. You can add resistance. If you're advanced, you know what to do by the move and the description that I've given you. If you're a beginner, follow me through this round and then you just won't pick anything up. You'll do the same thing. You'll do the same move. Nothing has changed except we've added a prop. And you don't need a prop. You don't need resistance. Woo! Okay, that was one round. We have two more rounds. Towel off, get a drink if you need one. I am gonna throw these benches onto the ground. If you have the boxes and you wanna do them, Olivia, I know you will. Olivia will do it. Olivia will do anything. If I tell her, you wanna make it harder? She's gonna make it harder. <laughs> Which is a good thing. Push yourself. That's what I want you to do. Not to the point of injury, but challenge yourself. We are starting with those jump jacks with the ball. Okay? We're gonna go right behind the bench. You hop out and touch the ball down, and then hop in.
if you have one arm weaker than the other, all you gotta do is give yourself extra slack on that band. I can he hear my shoulder clicking as I raise it up. So that's all you gotta do. All right, this should be the, the move Olivia made, likes. So hands down, one, two, three, four. Hop those feet to the box. Grab that weight and up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Squeeze that butt when you come up. One, two, three, four. Bicep curls are next. You can use tubes. You can use dumbbells or kettlebells. I'm going wide with the band for resistance. You can cross the band and make it harder. You can hook the band. If you have a band that doesn't have handles on it. As you can see, my elbows are staying in at my sides and I am squeezing the biceps as I come up. I am not gripping, I'm not giving it a death grip to curl the band up. I am using resistance. So you're tightening the forearms to keep the palms from bending. Woo. You can use an easy curl bar. I know Kanchana has one of those. Buzzsaw plank four, five times. One, two, three, four, five. Knee drop. One, two, three, four, Five, engage the core. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Out, two, look past the hands. Five, one, two, three, whoo, tube or dumbbells, whatever you want. Whoops. And back down. Raise up, pulse down. I gotta give more on this side. I can feel that and I don't wanna hurt my shoulder. You know what, I'm not gonna do the band. I showed it to you, but I can feel it. Sometimes I get up and the shoulder's fine. Other times I didn't do yoga this morning and I didn't do it before bed last night. I took the dog up to the doggy park to play and she has some new doggy friends up there. And I didn't do a need to go as foam roller one. I should have done it before bed. I need to, I linked it. I forgot to link it. I went back and linked it to the other video, but I need to link it to this video. I'm gonna remember to do that. I get in there and it's chaos. All hell breaks loose. The dog hasn't seen me in forever, she thinks. Okay, we have one more round. I'm not gonna push it with my shoulder. I'm not doing dumbbells. You know what to do if you're gonna do dumbbells. You've seen the moves. It's the same move with the dumbbell. I am just not putting my shoulder in that position. So uh, entirely up to you on what you wanna do. We're gonna start with the jump jack squat. If you don't have a ball and you have a dumbbell, dumbbells work too. You can either hold it on the end of the bell or you can hold it 
in the center, whatever you want. I prefer to hold like this. I know you won't tap the bell to the floor. First off, you'll jam your fingers in the weights. So you're going down, but the ball is bigger. So you end up tapping the floor with it. That even hurts my shoulder. No weight. No weight. Okay. Up, pull out, and down. Out, in, and down. feel clicking with no weight. We are just gonna, you're gonna have to do it without me. Follow me, add whatever weight you wanna use. We've got Olivia's plank jacks coming next. Again, you don't need the benches for it. I showed you, you can do it on the floor. Totally fine on the floor. You get, it's just, it's just lifts you off the floor and that glute squeeze for the squat is just a little bit deeper. That's all. One, two, three, four. Squeeze and lift. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's gonna get windier through the day. Moving a cold front. It's gonna be cold again this weekend. I know, be glad it's not snowing, right? Okay, I, um, bicep curls, I should be able to do them because it's not an overhead move. Curl up, elbows stay at the sides. Light grip with your hands. They should, your hands, your fingers should be loose. You should be able to wiggle them, curling that weight. So plank is next, down onto the mat or onto your floor. One, two, three, and four, one more, five. Kneel, knees tap down, two. Keep your core engaged, your butt is lifted. One more, one, two, Three, four, five. Down, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Whew. One more, shoulder move. Arms are gonna come out, shoulder and back. Raise up, 
two pulses down, lower and down. Raise up, pulse down. Squeeze the middle of your back, up and lower down. Raise up. You don't need weights. You just need to think about the muscle that you're using, that you're working, and you want to contract that muscle and squeeze. Up. Lift up, squeeze down. Five seconds. Woo! Okay, that was three rounds. You're gonna do a right side lunge and you're gonna tap the weights in your left hand. You're gonna tap it and reach up overhead when you come in. We're gonna do 15 of these, okay? Is that right, 15? I need to move this closer so I can see. All right, so side lunge, reach up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. If you have a box, right, left knee, squat out, and jack. Up knee. If you don't have a box, right, knee, out, jack. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Left lunge. One, two, four, six. Eight. Five more. Five. Four. Two. And one. Way down. If you have a box, left, knee lift right, out, Jack. If you don't have a box, left knee out, jack. Left knee out, jack. Here's five, six. Eight. Nine. 
and 10. Woo. Okay, you've got five plank jacks, 10 pendulums. We're going through this three times. One, two, three, four, five. Hop in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop out. One, two, three, four, five. Hop in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop out. One, two, three, four, five. Hop in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hop out. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you're gonna squat, side lunge, squat, side lunge, squat. Tap, chair sit, front raise. Tap, tap down, my box is in the way. This one's seven, we're doing 10, both sides, eight, Nine. And 10. Other side. Oh. Woo. Okay. Now you can towel off and get a drink. We're gonna repeat that again two more times. You work at your own pace. And if you don't wanna do all three rounds, you can go on to the ab and bonus section if you're gonna do one or two rounds. But if you're gonna follow me, grab that weight. One, two, four, Five more, five, four, three, two, and one. I'm not gonna use the weight, but you can use the weight if you want to. I have this on the wrong side. We're doing the right leg. Why did I move it? About me. Two, three, here's five, halfway there. Seven. Two more, nine, ten. Left side lunge, weight is in the right hand. One. Five. 
five more. Five. Four. One. Whew. Left crossover. Remember, you don't have to do them to the box. Up, knee, and a jack. You can cross, knee, down, jack. Here's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo! Are your legs on fire? Plank jacks to pendulums. Come down. One, two, three, four, five. Hop in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, two, three, four, five. Hop in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Okay. One more move and then one more round. Whoops. Side lunge, tap, and lift. Two, three, four, five, halfway there. We have five more, six, Eight, nine, ten. Tell walk, grab a drink. We have one more round. If you're not keeping up pace with me, or stand and catch your breath, and watch me and count how many you do so that the next time you do it, you can see if you've improved, okay? By pausing to give yourself a break and then unpausing me, it's sort of a false thing for you unless you're keeping track of the time because you're giving yourself a break and you're never really challenging yourself to keep going to build up that endurance. So it's easier to drop the weight, lower the step, um, just take out the jumps, whatever you need to do. But if you keep up with me, then mark down what you got, and then the next time you go through it, see if you got more and if you're getting better. We'll just shuffle back and forth. One, two, now. You can use a kettlebell for this move and you can clean and snatch it up, okay? Here 
Here's eight, nine, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Right leg goes up, left knee down, jack. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Whew. Legs are getting tired. Two. One. Wow. Okay. Weight in right hand. Side lunge out. One, five more, five, four. And one. Okay. Up knee. Two. Three. Four. Way there. Five more. Five. Four. Three. Woo. Two. And one. Plank jacks. One, sorry, on your hands, my bad. One, two, three, four, five. Hop in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Hop in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one's three, four, five, hop in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, two, three, four, five, hop in. One, eight, nine, ten. Last time. One, two, three, four, five. Hop in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo! Grab that ball. See, I breathe hard too. Challenge yourself. Move that out of the way. Uh, okay, you ready? Side lunge. One. Four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Last one, 10. Get a drink. The rolled up part under your back. We're gonna do crunches with our legs out but you wanna press that lower back into the floor. You wanna think about holding that lower back down and you take your legs out. Let me, let me set this up. I, I need to get 10 rounds on here. Okay, all right. Okay, so when I hit the timer, you're gonna be in this position. You want to press the feet out towards the wall. You want to press the lower back into the floor and you want to lift the head and shoulders off the floor and you're gonna do a crunch up. It's a small crunch, but as you crunch up, you should be pressing that lower back and holding that lower stomach, press the lower back into the floor, okay? When the beeper goes off, I gotta get these gloves off, they're sweaty. Okay, up and down, lift. If you just want to hold there and you don't want to um, add the crunch in, you don't have to. You can just contract the abdominals, press the lower back into that towel. You can hold your head. You can raise the arms over the head so that you get more with the upper part of the rectus abdominis or you can add a small crunch in as long as you're pushing that lower back into the floor, or into the towel, I should say. You have that towel rolled up behind your back. Okay, stay here. Same move, bring the head up, and you're gonna tap one foot in, and then the other foot in. Press that lower back into the floor. Walking them in. Walk your foot in and back out. It's not a hip flexor move. It's your lower abdominals. You're pulling with the lower abdominals as you press that low back into that towel. You shouldn't feel it in the hip flexors. Whew. You should feel that in the rectus abdominis. Okay. We've got an elbow crunch, right knee in and back out to the foot and then up. and the obliques on the right side. Press that lower back into the towel. Okay. I'm gonna unwind this towel because you're gonna lay I apologize for having my back to you. We're doing the right oblique still. 
Roll back over, tabletop position with those legs, arms or head and chest are lifted. Then you're gonna tap down. Now, if it's too much, you can keep your head and your neck on the floor, but make sure your back is pressing into the floor. Get that towel back under there if you need to. Otherwise, you can hold the upper body off you can reach the hands forward. We have the left leg to do. So the right leg is going to go straight and the left knee is going to crunch in and the heel is going to tap over to the right foot. Press that lower back into the towel. Work the rectus abdominis as well as the obliques. Feel it pull from the pelvis all the way up to the rib cage. Feel that contraction. Roll over onto that right side, hover that right leg, left leg is going to come in, and then up, in, and up. In, crunch up. <sighs> Woo! Come back over. You've got a reverse crunch. Up, tap the feet down. Make sure when you're tapping the feet to the floor that you keep the lower back pressed into the floor. Don't arch your back. We're gonna do a butterfly crunch. And if you want, 
You can take that towel to that back so that you keep pressing the lower back into the floor. Uh, or you can keep, if you don't need it, you can keep that towel down out from under the back. Legs come up, hold them in the air. Upper body off the floor. You're gonna cross opposite elbow to opposite knee while you press those legs into the air. Hold the lower abdominals tight. You're not lowering that leg out to the floor and getting the hip flexors. You're pulling that knee in and contracting the lower abdominals. As you hold the legs up and you press that lower back into the floor, you're contracting the lower abdominals and then pulling forward. One more set, and then we're done. So, if you want that towel underneath that back, you're gonna walk those feet out. Press the feet out. Push the lower back into the floor. You can either hold here, you can hold up here, raising the arms over the head, or you can add a contraction in, or you can keep the head down. Raise the arms over, but you have to press that lower back. Make sure you're pressing that lower back into the floor. Contracting the abdominals, crunch, Entirely up to you. You can make it a hold. It's a small lift. You're contracting and lifting. It's not a high lift. You want to release and contract. Whew. Okay. We're going to hold it up. And you're gonna walk right in and then left in. Right in and then left in. Press that lower back into the floor. Push that other foot out to the wall. Walk in. pulling the knees all the way in because you don't want to get the hip flexor. You want to get the lower abdominals. If you put your finger or your hand on your lower abdominals, as you move those legs in, you should feel them contracting and your lower back pressing into the floor. Okay, right leg. Heel is on the foot. You're gonna crunch in and then lift.
crunch, reach. Roll to the left. Crunch up. Okay, roll back over. Tabletop position. Reverse tabletop. Tap down. You can take the arms out. My watch is peeping at me. It doesn't think that I'm doing a workout when I go to the floor for abdominals. What does it know, right? that lower back pressed into the floor. If your head and neck get tired, bring your hands behind, support your head. Otherwise, whew. okay, roll over. Oh, nope, sorry. Got to do this one first. Don't roll yet. Press that right foot out. to the right side. Right leg hovers, left leg up. That reverse crunch. Feet can go tap down to the floor, crunch and lift up.
butterfly, feet together, hands behind the head, crunch in. Legs come up into the air, press that lower back into the floor, head and chest are lifted, and you're going to pull the leg in and twist. those legs down, arms down. Let's stay on our back here. Take the legs out, arms overhead, full body stretch, deep breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Pull the right knee in. Pull it out alongside the chest. Pull under that knee if you want to. Grab a hold of the arms. Stretch out that quadricep. Bring that knee back up to the chest. You're gonna cross it over so that the knee, the right knee goes towards the floor on the left. Feel that stretch in the hip. The piriformis, it's the muscle that runs across the glute. Look over that right shoulder. Roll that right leg up, cross that right leg over the left and pull in. This is a lying pigeon pose. We're gonna keep the feet the way they are. Lower them over to the left. Place that left foot on the floor. Take that left hand, or place that right foot on the floor. Take that left hand and press that left hand into that right knee. And you should feel a stretch in the outer thigh all the way down into the hip. This is where a block comes in handy as well. You can put the block at the knee and press on the block and press out so that you can stretch it a little bit further. I want you to keep the right leg crossed over the left. You're gonna bring them back up in and you're gonna pull in on the knees and you're gonna feel that stretch in the top leg, the, the right glute the most. You can pull in on the feet you can pull in on the knees. You can pull behind the legs. Wherever it feels comfortable for you and you feel that stretch. Baby, rock it out. Feel the 
stretching the hips. We really worked on body hard today. Take the foot into the left hand, drop the left leg over to the right, or drop the right leg over to the left, grab a hold of that left foot with that right hand and pull in on that right, or on that left foot, stretch out that left quadricep. Palm faces up, round the shoulders back. Feel the stretch in the oblique, the hips, the shoulders. Now when you release this foot, do not slingshot that foot. Gently let it go and let the left foot come back down. Roll back up, grab a hold of both legs, pull in. Roll on that back and release the muscles of the back. Circle the knees around. And then circle them the opposite way. Stretch out that lower back. Keep that left leg in, lower that right leg out. Stretch out the right leg, pull the left leg into the chest. We're gonna pull it out and around to the side of the left chest, the left side of the chest. Pull it back in, and you're gonna bring that left leg over the right towards the floor. Stretch out the hip. Feel that pull through the glute. Feel that stretch in the shoulder. Roll that left leg back up. You're in a lying pigeon pose. Grab a hold behind the knee. Grab at the shin. Grab at the foot. Wherever you feel comfortable. Pull in. Stretch out the hip and the outer thigh on that left leg. Keeping the foot in this position. Lower over to the right. Drop that foot to the floor. Take that right hand, press onto that left knee. Feel that stretch in the hip and the outer thigh of the, right, of the left leg. Release that hand. Keep the legs crossed. Bring the legs up, pull the knees in. Either grab a hold of the toes Grab a hold of the ankles, grab a hold of the knees, pull in, feel that stretch in the top leg, the left leg. You'll feel that in the glute the most. And I feel it best when I grab a hold of my feet and just pull in. You're gonna keep that left leg crossed over the right and you're gonna cross over, keep a hold of that, let that right foot. Stretch out that quadricep on the right side. Feel that stretch in the obliques. Pull that shoulder down to the floor. When you let go of this right leg, don't slingshot that foot. Let it come down. Roll back up. Keep that, left, that right leg on the floor. Grab a hold of that left leg. Half happy baby. Pull. You don't want to pull with your arms. You want to engage the back and pull down with the back and feel that stretch in the quadricep and the hip flexor and the hamstring on that left leg. Now you want to bring that right leg in and let's do a full happy baby. So grab a hold of the feet. Now from here, engage the back, pull the shoulders down and as you pull the shoulders down, it pulls the feet down and the knees towards the floor. Don't pull with the biceps. Keep the arms long. Engage the back. Feel that in the back. Press that lower back into the floor. Feel it in the inner thighs. Release it, grab a hold of the legs, rock and roll. 
and roll yourself up to a seated position. Take the feet right in the front, feet together, elbows on the knees, and keep your back flat and walk forward. Take your head towards the toes. Feel that stretch in the lower back and the hamstrings. Tuck the head, feel that stretch in the back. Roll the back up one vertebrae at a time. Bring the feet together, come onto your hands and knees, and you're gonna sit back into a uh, happy baby, or into a child's pose, excuse me, sorry. Now I don't have your knees wide on this one. Keep your knees closer. Feel that stretch in the quad. Walk yourself up. Walk the hands out. Stretch out the shoulders. Lower the head to the floor. Walk the hands back. Bring the right leg out, lower down into that child's pose, stretch out the inner thigh on the right leg and the quadricep on the left leg. Cushion your knee with a towel if that hurts. Take the hands to the left, cross that right hand over, feel that stretch in the oblique and that pull through the right thigh. Walk it back, come up onto the hands, pull the leg back, walk the hands out for another shoulder stretch. Drop the chest towards the floor. Walk the hands in, left leg goes out, sit back onto that right foot, feel that stretch in the right quad and that stretch in the left hands or the left inner thigh. Take the hands, walk them over to the right, cross the left hand over, look down, stretch out the waist and the obliques on the left side, feel that pull all the way up through the shoulder. Walk the hands back, come up onto the knees. Press back into the toes and into a downward facing dog. Walk the feet out. Plant the feet, bend the knees, hop the feet forward. You're in a malasana. Press the elbows out on the knees and stretch out those hips. Take the hands down to the floor. Come on up, keep a slight bend of the knees, grab the elbows, feel that stretch through the hamstrings and the glutes. Take the hands down, walk the toes out, drop one more time, stretch out the hips. Malasana squat. One last time, plant the hands, walk the feet in, slight bend in the knees, grab the elbows, pull down, stretch out the hamstrings and the glutes. Place the hands on the floor, flat back, inhale. Exhale, tuck the head, roll the back up one vertebrae at a time. Arms up overhead, deep breath, inhale. Exhale, hands down, prayer hands. That was your workout for the day. Thank you for joining me. If you like the video, please remember to thumbs up it. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel and share it with some friends. See you soon.